consider yourself one of the greatest musicians and entertainers in reggae history? Yes, all around. And why? Because I am the only artist that can say I was in there for the arrangement, the writing, and apart from that, the, 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 the harmony singing, you know, back in Studio One where we're talking about right now, you know, and, 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 all, and about 60 to 70 percent of the eight bass lines and arrangement, not just for, for myself, but for all or most of the artists that were in Studio One. So there's no single individual that can make this claim. If you're a, a, a horn blower, then that's what you did. If you're a keyboard, if you understand, you understand where I'm, where I'm coming from. I, I did all of that. All of that is contributed individually through me individually. You know, the playing, the harmonies, the, 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 the bass playing, the, the singing, the, the harmonies for the studio. The, even, I was the one even on Sundays who took the audition, auditioning new artists for the studio. So um, I'm, I'm, the, I'm, a complete, I'm the complete musician right. that Jamaica have ever had. Only person you can correct me if I'm wrong. Only person I know that has the, the skill level of you outside of performance is mm -hmm. like a Jackie Matu, right? Yeah, but Jackie Matu was, was just a ranger and player. Yeah, player you see? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. You know? He cannot make claim for the singing, harmonies, yeah. and other stuff that I did. You know what I mean? Why, it, do, you, why do you think that like, they don't put you in the history more than they should? Because I was, not, I was in the history less in the sense of, of recognition. The, the studio, they, they, at back then, they didn't recognize the musicians or people who were doing the stuff. You know, all they did, they, they, the, the most they would say is, um, they, 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 they call, you know, call the band a name, and that's it. They're not, they weren't, they weren't um, specializing, you know, putting out on, on oh, individual right stuff. Right. Yeah, who did this, or we're doing that, or, you know what I mean? So no one knew. It's lately now we have to be coming through interviews, stuff like what you're doing, that the, the real truth is getting out there. It's a, it's a story like Motown and the musician of Motown. Same thing. And I was always in love with soul music back then, the groups. You know, and that, back then was a lot of groups. Was impression your greatest impression? Back then, what? that was one of them. When I talk to the reggae artists, why is it everyone keeps saying? Because so Curtis, Curtis is one of the greatest guys in the world. Queen Even today you listen to Curtis, man. And, and he's the one who started. He's the pioneer in, in group and, and harmony settings. You know? So you got to refer to Curtis. He's the daddy of putting a group together and, and singing so beautifully. You know what I mean? Other groups gave you that inspiration, they gave you that vibe. Yeah, well... Or solo singers also. Well, most group back then. You know, there's not, no even reason to point in one group out or another. All the group back then, we're, 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 we're still, I think, coming off a, and even if there were even um, solo singers, they had backup singers singing around them. So this is what make it, you know, that interesting. The harmony is around the lead, you know, and that's how we, we, we ended up there too, because we were listening. Originally at the Heptones, were you just dealing with melody or you were dealing with... Uh musical instruments at that time? Oh, well, the first thing I did before we, I started, um, I, 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 my, when I left school, you know, I, I, I did um, arc welding, right? While I was doing that first instrument, I bought an instrument, an acoustic guitar, and, and learned to play that. What was uh, the learning? Did someone help you with the learning? Was more oh, yes. Stuff? Oh, yeah. There, there, there was a, 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 um, a, a raster man who was instrumental in that um, called Huntley, you know? And um, he started me from the do-re, me from, from the basic, you know, and other guys were there. But I was so eager to learn that I surpassed them, you know, and I developed more when I went to Studio One where the real musicians were, you know. So when you got to Studio One, were you just a guitar, you were able to play the guitar or were you able to play the bass at the same time? No, I wasn't playing bass yet. I didn't even know nothing about bass playing. I wasn't thinking about playing the bass. The bass playing was introduced to me by um, Jackie Mito, you know, he had a trio. You know, or he wanted to to put a trio together to do some some work on the weekends in a, in a club. So he, he himself was there. He had a drummer, but he needed a bass man, and he just figured that I could do it. You know, he, he, Jack is very talented, and he knows talent. You know, he can see talent. You know, he's the one who, who when a guy comes in with a song, he sees all 
the, the, the music around it, which I developed too after a while. I was like that. I was very talented when I was a kid too. Multi-talented, you know? All right. Going back to the guitar now, right? Yes. Because you were able to make music, make melodies. Yeah. That yeah. Helped that's how the Eptone songs, yeah. 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 That's yeah. how I, that, 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 yeah, that helped me to write these kind of songs that the Eptones did, which were different from most other Jamaicans writing back then. Or their, their musical progression was totally different from mine. Because mine had chords that they wouldn't even go to because they, they were, their, their music ability was limited, you know? So they're, they're, they were like a, a two card thing or a three card thing when I was branching on and some minors and some stuff and coming back to majors and, you know? If you listen to the Eptone songs, they're always, and maybe that's what made the Eptone so different. Yeah, so sure. because I was not involved in a lot of my personal um, musical, um, in the studio arrangement. My, I gave them the chord pro progression you know, and uh, the arrangement of the song itself and the, and the harmonies were all created by me. Every ah uh and ooh that those guys sang were pre-arranged when they came in at night. They would come to a new song or two new songs which were already arranged all day because I would stop. I would leave my, my uh, uh, welding thing. I was totally into music because I loved it so much. So, you know, even me, my mom and I even kick off on that. You know, because the first guitar, she saw the guitar, she said, you need pants, you need shoes, you need this and that. You wear a guitar, you can't play guitar. But I said, I'm going to play that, you know. Oh, yeah, so. With, with the uh, heptones on top, right? Considering what yes, the yes. Time. And we're going to get to another part when you're at Elite Art. But during that time you were making the album, right? Were you more pulling inspiration from the Americans or were you just vibing saying we want to do something different? How did, how did you put Yeah, I was always the one who wanted to, um, to, 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 to create within music, to come with something new. Even in bass lines, you know, I created a new style, like on Sata Masagana and all, some other songs. It was like an after the beat thing, you know, because people would say, one, two, three. Four and people would come on the beat, you know, or even before the beat. But not a lot of people came after the beat to the music. So I said, well, I'm going to try that, you know, and come with a new... I, I was always trying to invent a new thing. And it worked, you know. And there's a lot of um, lines, pseudo one lines, that came like that. After the, after the one, you know. One, two, three, four, one. Pudu, pudu. Pudu, pudu. After the beat, the beat here. And a lot of another um, line that um, tells the same story was one was I like you know yeah, 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 you know the different lines you know yeah man um, when you first did that were you accepting it or it was kind of weird it was for it for yeah. it after it after it Santa Mascana is one of the biggest you know that yeah, yeah, one of the know. biggest yeah. line yeah. In the, in, the, in the history of the thing, you know? And there's a whole lot of other lines that came just like that. Yeah. You know, um, 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 not, no, what, what's his name, um, this guy? Uh, uh, Full up rhythm and all that, No, two boot, um, One, two be chung, two be dung, dung, two bo do, bo be ching, you see? After the line, yeah, after the beat. Poo jung tiggy jing jing tiggy de poo be jing, you know? Yeah, so there's a lot of lines that I created like that, and they were all eight songs, you know? All right, when you got to Studio One, right? Mm -hmm. How did you progress so quick to get so many different roles at the studio? They just saw my talent, and, and Coxon wasn't a guy to hold your back, you know? If you see that you have the ability to go, it, it does not leave the place up because he's the one in the end who's going to be, be um, financially, Coxon you know, embarrassed on that. We know the money side. We know that side. Yes. But in regards to diplomat and utilizing people's talent to the benefit. He, he was the best. That, that. He was the best. Yeah, <laughs> yeah because as a, as, as a person, he acted like a normal guy, you know. It was nice to talk to you, to run jokes and all that. But on the business side, you know, <laughs> he was a businessman, I guess. Yeah. All right. So when you started acquiring those talents, what are some of the artists that you gave the okay to that came through studio? Burning Spear for one, 
because I was the one who was there with him. I played on that album too, the, the Burn It, the, that the, the, the one, yeah, the one. Door Peep Shall Not Enter, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, the, yeah the studio one, all of that, you know. I played on every track on that one. I played on every track of Dennis Brown, No Man Is An Island album. All of those tracks are mine. Um, John Holt album, all of that album with um, Rob and Cheat You, you know, yeah. the, the best uh, studio yeah. one. Them. Yeah, Alton. Um, it's all me. You see what I'm talking, telling you? That's, that's where I'm at. Because um, thing that I'd left, um, Jackie played on some of those songs too. And, but um, he left after a while and it was all in my lap. All right, how, how many years were you at Studio One? Mm, I, I think about six, seven. All right, six, seven. I just want to just go through the list though. Mm -hmm. Not just the albums, but the artists that yes. um, you saw the talent. Yeah, peop yeah people like The Cables, you know, um, um, the, the Mad Lads. And these are songs that we play. When you call these names, I play those, those music too. Because when I hear good music, I just, I'm eager to go play it, so you know. So what kind of world are we living in? Yes, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. And, um, and um, on the other side of the cable is, um, what was it? Um, I can't remember that. But um, the cables, um, Colonel Campbell, Queen of the Minstrel, Stars, all them big, big shows. <laughs> you know, yeah. You know. Um, the, 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 the Abyssinians, that made it came to me because we were tight off the record, you know. We were tight. We um, with um, Carlton and the Shoe, you know. We were all like tight. Yeah, so like when they wanted, yeah, when they wanted to do them songs, you know, I they they, they checked me, you know. They didn't go to Coxon. Actually, they they, they Satamasa Ghana, um, Declaration of Rights. I play all of them things. They bad bad bass line them. You know that. Um, they 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 actually. For those songs, they actually rented the studio, you know. Oh, rented from Cotton. Yes, yeah, to do their own thing. Carlton Hines, real quick. He was more rock steady love songs, right? Carlton. Yeah. When did yeah. when did they rush up and, and change their thing and go to more social songs? I've ever seen. No, they were always um, socialites, you know. Yeah. yeah, always. But um, you know, every now and again, more time is a love song that hits, you know. So that's just commercial. It's not really. It's just that, yeah, to, yeah, yeah, right. yeah. Because um, if you listen, if you ever get a Carlton album, Carlton and the Shoe, get the album and listen it. A lot of social work, great works, great works too. I even sing harmonies and some of those songs too. Mm -hmm. But um, set them out the story real quick. Yeah, man. Yeah, they came to me and um, we went in the studio. You know, sang the song and. I heard a beautiful song, sounded, Af sounded African to me to that I feel. So I came up with that 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 that, that, that horn section, that that horn, them horns. Yeah, man, was totally fitting, you know. Yeah, I hear the east, you know. So I said, the east, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfectly right, and and that bass line now is is Naya Bingi, you know. Kichu kichin, kichi kichin, kichi kichin, kichi kichin. Yeah, yeah. It, 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 it's Naya Bingi, it's Rasta, you know. Yeah, repatriative music. Hit.